a Radio 1 station. Boston's home for classic soul and R&B. 1090 AM, W-I-L-D, Boston. 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 I'm not saying that he doesn't like white people. I'm saying he has a problem. He has a, this guy is, I believe, a racist. What? post-racial by all appearances uh you know i forgot he was black tonight for an hour we've already donated to haiti it's called the u.s income tax it is as though we still on a plantation the number one fighter in america All right, Truth Fighters, for everybody just joining us, just tuning in, we are talking with Paul Mooney. My Twitter account, Facebook account, everything is going crazy, Paul, because you're on the air. My audience absolutely loves you. Uh, you know, P Paul, what what do you think about, you know, before I even ask you this question, what can we do to support you? That's what I want to know. What can we do to support Paul Mooney? Because my audience is crazy about you just like I am. No, but they're, they're doing what they're supposed to do. Let me tell you something. That's why I'm not afraid of any of them. Death. Is everybody got to die? Okay. Like yes, sir. Rapper said everybody dies, nobody lives, and they don't want us to live. Okay. They just want us to try to exist and and uh, tote that bale and lift that cotton. All that stuff is dead. Okay. What goes around comes around. All right. Mm -hmm. And so we have to we have to we have a lot as black folks we have a lot of hard work to do because our little kids are being brainwashed by the white establishment. Our little kids still think that black is ugly and that white is beautiful. Yes, they do. It, it, it's insane that hair is, and nappy hair is bad. Look, when we try to simulate, we try to regulate, we try to we try to do everything to please. I'm tired of please. If I don't want to please, I just want to do my thing and be happy and be black and be wonderful. Because let me tell you something, I don't care how famous you are, I don't care how much money you have, okay? You got to die, all right? That's yeah. number one. You can't take it with you, but we'll give the, uh, the Egyptians an aid for effort. They tried to take it with them. <laughs> but you cannot take it with you. And uh, if you don't have a black conscience, it was all for nothing. Yep. It was all for nothing, running around here and, and just trying to be so diplomatic and trying to be so loving and so caring. And we understand it all, but let's just relax and be who we are and know that black is definitely beautiful, that it is, and not just say it, that it is beautiful, and not be brainwashed by these folks. Because these, these people got it around, because what goes around comes around. And it's all turned now, and I just love every minute of it. I love every black minute of it. I love Obama, because watching the news is like watching BET. <laughs> He's all over that news. I just love it. I love every minute of it. And you know, you have to, let me tell you something. You gotta, like Nick at Night and those old shows, you have to watch those old shows, those black and white shows. Yeah. You have to watch those shows because we, we were so, we couldn't see the forest for the trees. We were so brainwashed. I was watching Mod and that Norman Lear and he's supposed to be the opening the door for blacks and all this kind of stuff. And uh, I'm watching this stuff, and that was very, it was very racist. Yeah. Because yeah. Florida was the maid, and they were all calling her by her name. And she had to call them Miss Johnson, Miss, you know, that Miss stuff. Yeah. My grandkids, my kids watch that. They think they're supposed to be subservient to these white folks. That stuff, I wouldn't do that. And, and the Jews know better. They've been there. I mean, yeah. I dare them do that. They, 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 they know what it is to be discriminated against. I dare you know it and then do it. That pisses me off. I get yeah. angry about that. Yep. I mean, if you don't know, there's a difference. But when you know and you do it, and you do it just to, just to please the folks that don't like you, which is white folks, the Mel Gibson folks, okay? Right. That makes you stupid, too. That makes you a part of it. Hey, hey, brother, you, you tell them the I, honest to God truth. You know, one of the things that I try to tell the listeners all the time is, look, stop trying to, because they're rewriting the history books right now. So you need to literally start teaching your children and your grandchildren the truth about who you are and what you are, because they're rewriting the history books. I said in 30 years, when these kids read the history books in school, they're going to say black folks came to America to get, to get a better job. That's what the history books going to read, because they're trying to rewrite them to make it seem like they weren't that bad. Like, when the future, you can see the future. Richard Pryor said it best when we saw Logan's run. He said, oh, there ain't going to be no black people in the future. Because there was nobody black in Logan's run. Except yep. for the little robot. He said, oh, they got a plan for us. We're we not going to be in the future. They don't want to include us in the future. Well, you but know, you a know, lot of people... You know, but, you, but you know what, though? No, let me tell you something. But we will be because we've got to... It's like 
abortion. You know, I used to think them abortion people were crazy. Abortion was set there for us so that yeah. we could stop having children. Yeah. It's, been re- it's been reversed. The white folks have all the kids now. The other people yep. have kids. We yep. used, it used to be us. We had a lot of kids. You yep. know, it, we, yeah, black women are, it, it, are having abortion. It's, it's very scary. Paul, they, you know? my listeners got mad at me because I came on the air. We did a, a, a show about abortion. I said, look, let me tell you something. Black people get married and have as many babies as you can have. And people got, well, you, people got mad at me. What do you mean having as many babies? We can't afford no kids. Look, let me tell you something right now. Because they're being brainwashed. That's what they're supposed to say. When you're brainwashed, you react like that. You're supposed to. Listen, I've been doing this for 40 years. I'm the enemy. I, they automatically think I'm the enemy because I'm not saying hell Caesar. I'm saying I come to conquer Caesar, not to burn. You know, I'm Hannibal. I will burn Rome to the ground. I'm not into that stuff. I'm not getting into that stuff. And we, listen, if I had Eddie Murphy money, I would, you know those spas you go away, those health spas to lose weight and get your yep. skin clear and all that stuff? Yep. I'd have, I'd have school spas. Uh, we'd go away and just, we'd all have sex, just have kids. Oh, yep. Yep. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, I agree with you. I, I came on the air and said the same thing. People thought I was crazy. No, you're not crazy. And that's why these white women are with these black men. They're saving their race. Yeah. It, hey. It, hey. These, it, white it, women, it, these white women are double agents. That's <laughs> It's like, and these brothers falling for it like the kryptonite. It's the b- black man's listen, kryptonite. Listen, they're saving their race. So I give it up to the white woman. Wonder Woman is helping, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and we got we to gotta get, gotta get colored woman. Colored woman, colored woman. <laughs> She's so happy. Her hair is nappy. Colored woman. <laughs> But, you know, Paul, on the serious note, I tell the listeners, I'm like, look at what they're showing your kids on television. Every one of these reality shows, right? When you start talking about any kind of dating show, what, what do they get? The Bachelor, the Bachelorette? What's the end game to get married? What's our end game on? Flavor of Love, Ray J with Love, Real Chance. It's all about the hookup. It ain't about getting married. They're not te- they, And you letting your kids watch this nonsense every day, and you letting your daughters think it's okay for 30 girls to compete for one guy. Listen. Save the bell, or whatever that high school thing was. What, save the bell, the bell. I don't know what the bell's ringing. What was that called, Spring? Save by the bell. Save by the bell. Okay. It's only the black woman. Where, what school was this? Where's it about sex? Where's the black boy? Where's the young black boy? Right. This nowhere to be female, found. This, that, nowhere to be found. Okay? Because when he gets to sex, they'll race him. Listen, let's go back. When Wesley Snipes first came on, he was Mandingo. Don't you remember? He was having sex in every movie he was in. He was, no, he was Mandingo. All the women wanted an Asian yeah. black white. They yeah. wanted it. And that white man heard sex, sex, we made some sort of mistake. The next time we saw Wesley Snipes, he was an ugly bad queen. Okay? <laughs> the third time we saw him, he was a vampire. He wasn't even human. They fixed that. Yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right. Huh? You're absolutely they're back, right. They're back, they're back to blackface. They started it on the radio with Amos and Annie. Amos and Annie, you know, was white. You know that. Right. White folks acting black. They, they got a show out now called something, Good Guy, The Family Guy. What's it called? The Family Guy? That show where they have a white people pretending they're black. The Family Guy, something like that. Right. Yeah, the cartoon. What is it called? Family Guy, some white boys acting black. Blackface, radio blackface. They're back to it. Wow. And they even have it in Vegas. But they call it blue man. I know blackface when I said I'll <laughs> They call it blue man. <laughs> it should be, it should be red. I know blackface when I see it. I, I've been black too long. I've been here too long. I know too much. You know, Paul, I'm going to ask you seriously, man. I, I want to have you come on and just do an hour of the show, man, and talk about whatever you want to talk about, man. Because, like I said, I absolutely think you're brilliant. I love you. I appreciate everything that you've given to us as a people for those who want to know the truth. And my audience absolutely love you, man. And and, and we, we definitely want to well, have you on. Have, have your girl call me back so I can take your number. And I'm going to make you live up to that. Cause I'm on, yes, I'm, yes, sir. Yeah, because they're going to get to you and you're going to be on TV somewhere going, oh. Paul, uh, can't we all be friends? <laughs> hey, let, 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 me tell, let me tell you the one thing about me, Paul. I, I realized this at an early age. You can't be a hero and a coward all in the same breath. I've already chose. I've already chosen my path, brother. You know, I, well, I tell my listeners all the time. I'm just waiting for them to come and get me. I'm waiting. Well, it's only it's only uh, two kind of black people in the world we live in. You you either running free or you running scared. So how are you running? Hey, there you go. I'm running you're free. You're running free or you're running scared. You're scared, so high you're running. And that's real. 
That's real talk. Tell, they're telling something. And they, they so into this money, which it ain't about nothing, because you never see a brakes truck following the hearse, and they bury money. They don't bury people. I mean, That's they bury right. people. They don't bury money. And uh, that money ain't about nothing. Your health and your sanity is where your, your wealth is. People better wake up. They don't Paul, up. Paul, my people going to call you right after the show. Give Paul my cell number. In fact, in yeah. fact put, put, put him on hold right now. Give him my cell number, Yasha. Paul, you call me. Let's set this up. I want to have you on as much as you want to be on. You want to be on once a week. It's yours. It is yours. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, set it up. All right, all right, hold on, Paul. We up against commercial break. Hey, y'all should make sure you get them, give them my personal sale. N not the other one, give them the real one. 877-373-9766. Number to dial. Talking to you truth fighters right here, right now. Warren Valentine Show. Stay tuned for the Warren Valentine Show. Call 1-877-373-9766. one 9766 Call the number one truth fighter and stay with News Talk 1090 AM WILD. Boston. Hi, we are the Higginbotham, founder of the Osiris Family Institute. We provide in-home therapy and therapeutic mentoring to families involved with Mass Health. If you and your children are having a difficult time, you may be eligible through your Mass Health insurance provider to have in-home therapy or a therapeutic mentor placed in your home. To find out if your family is eligible, contact the Osiris Family Institute at 617-442-2002. Or visit our website at osirisinstitute.com. And listen to Families Do Matter. Sunday afternoons from 1 to 2 p.m. Eastern, only on News Talk 1090 WILDAM, where information is power. A Tom Joyner Morning Show exclusive. Old school versus new school. The Silk Mixes. Thank you for still tuning in to the Tom Jordan Morning Show. Weekday mornings, only on News Talk 1090 AM, WILD. Attention WILD listeners, our Radio 1 affiliate stations across the country are now online. 24-7. Wake up to the Tom Jordan Morning Show. Radio listeners, log on to www.blackamericaweb.com and listen to the whole entire four-hour number one old school morning show in Boston. And that's the TJMS. Where information is power. Log online for 1380 WAOK to www.atlanta.cbslogo.com or log online to 1490 WERE to www.newstalkcleveland.com. Previously on the Donnie McClurkin Show. Caller, you're on the air. My name is Beverly Ray. I'm from the greater New Orleans area. What can you do to help our young men and young girls? And if you and other generals in the Army of the Lord would pray mightily for our young people and youth, I just believe, God, that they would get delivered from drugs, from alcoholism, from all manner of filth and even slowfulness. And God said men ought to work by the sweat of their brows. Well, God bless you, Sister Beverly. All of this and more on the next edition of the Donnie McClurkin Show. So walk in the favor of God. God bless you. Yeah. Oh, you're ready to the Donnie McClurkin Show, Donnie. The Donnie McClurkin Show, Sunday mornings at 9 Eastern, only on Boston's Best Gospel, 1090 AM, WILD, Boston, where music and information is power. Here's what you missed on Keeping It Real with the Reverend Al Sharpton. <laughs>
Dr. Ogletree and Mr. and Mrs. Parks, that always bothers me in these cases. The police couldn't see his wallet. What did that have to do with why they shot? I mean, you got it, you and got the it. police couldn't, didn't know his alcohol. Like, what did that have to do with why they shot? Exactly. They did the same thing in Amadou Diallo and the same thing in Sean Bell. They always act like, well, the victim might have had something to drink. Well, you didn't shoot them because of that. What was the only reason a police has a right to shoot is if their life is threatened. Let's go to Miss Richardson and Chevy Chase. Miss Richardson. Yes, how are you? You know, Reverend, I'm at the age. I have seen it all, you know, and... And if we don't stop playing games with each other, with a lot, lot of times black people will do that to each other. We harm ourselves. If we cannot understand what this system is doing and what the powers to be is doing.